The paradox of spiritual growth is that the more holy you become, the more aware you are of your remaining sinfulness. When I was young, I thought of myself as basically a good person who occasionally made a mistake. But now I see that sin is not only something I sometimes do, but it's almost like a disease that affects every part of my being. I have sinful thoughts and feelings as well as actual words and deeds. And the worst of all is that even the good things that I do often come from less than an ideal motive. And this means that I don't just need to be saved from the things that I've done, but I need to be saved from who I am. I think David got this when months after his adultery with Bathsheba, he came to this realization and cried out to God like this in Psalm 51. Cleanse me with hyssop and I will be clean. Wash me and I will be whiter than snow. Let me hear joy and gladness. Let the bones you have crushed rejoice and hide your face from my sins. Blot out all my iniquities. Create in me a pure heart, O God, and renew a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me from your presence or take your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation and grant me a willing spirit. You know, if the guilt and power of sin is dominating your life, why not do what David did and plead with God to both deeply forgive the sin that has stained your soul and ask him also to give you that purity of heart and that sustained generous spirit that will enable you to live out of purer motives as well as actual deeds. I think as long as we're in this life, we're going to struggle with temptation, with evil desires and imperfect motives. But through communion with Christ, we can weaken their influence over us and experience more and more the pure and holy life of Jesus within.